Hi everyone and welcome to Amazing Art with me, Miss Dimitri. Today we are going to be looking at the artist Vincent Van Gogh um, and his Sunflower series. Um, so let's take a look. So first, a little bit about Vincent Van Gogh. Van Gogh was a famous Dutch painter who lived from 1853 to 1890. He was best known for his post-impressionism paintings. Today we are going to look at his Sunflower series. He has multiple paintings of sunflowers. You can see that he uses a lot of yellow. Okay, so to begin, you're going to want to have a pencil ready, maybe a brown crayon, and maybe a dandelion yellow crayon. You're going to want to have a paintbrush and some watercolor and a water bucket ready. It's also important that you have a picture of Vincent van Gogh's sunflower painting in front of you so you can refer to it for details. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with our vase. The vase should be about in the center of your, your picture here. I'll start lightly with a horizontal line for the opening of the vase. And then you can come down diagonal and diagonal on both sides, and you'll notice I'm drawing very light. Then I'm going to curve down, curve down, and then I'm going to make a curved line to connect, and that's gonna make it look more 3D and less flat, okay? And I can make final adjustments here to make it the way I like. I'm also going to draw a horizon line here, and this will be kind of our table, table mark. So we're gonna draw a horizontal line that hits the vase, jumps over, and continues on. And this will mark off where our wall is and where our table is. Now you'll also notice in Van Gogh's paintings that on his vase, he does have a curved line here that separates the top from the bottom of the vase. And this is kind of where also you can see he hid his name underneath the line. All right, so now to start with our sunflower, we're gonna start with the center, which is a circle. Now I like to go pretty big here for the first one just so that we can get the hang of it. Okay, and this is usually going to be brown or a, a darker brown. Okay, and now what we can do is start with the petals. Um, now a lot of the times um, people will curve the petals, but this is not what I think of when I think of a sunflower. I think of it as more of a point. So instead, I'm going to curve up, curve down, and you'll see that it's a point right here. You don't want them to be too tiny because then it's gonna be very difficult to paint. And you're gonna go all the way around, really trying your best to make them even. Maybe you wanna throw in a swoop and a swoop back down to make it a little bit more creative. Maybe add some motion. You don't have to though. Okay, once you're done, we wanna put hidden petals because we don't just have a few petals, there's usually a lot. Um, so right in between my petals, from about halfway, I'm gonna come up, come down, come up, come down, come up, come down, and I'm gonna do this all the way around. And maybe you wanna put a little curve in there as well, up to you. All right, now for our stem, you can just hide a line and a line, almost like a rectangle here, and that's our stem. Now if you want, you can leave it as is, or you can do a curved line and swoop down, and that'll be like a hidden um, leaf. Now from here, Vincent Van Gogh doesn't just have one sunflower, he has multiple, right? And they're kind of going all over the place. Um, so I'll show you a hidden one first. Um, so let's start with a smaller circle that's hidden, boom, behind our petals here. And then you're gonna do the same thing as before. Curve up, curve, curve down, all the way around. Trying your best to be nice and even. Now when you come back, you're gonna have to hide them. So you're gonna draw it behind, behind. 
All right, and then we can do the same thing with those little petals, squeezing them in between. Again, you'll notice that it's at the halfway point of the first petals that I drew. They're not kind of trying to squeeze in so much as just hidden behind. And then you can do maybe a curvy rectangle for our um, stem. Maybe another leaf here. Maybe even one here, it's up to you. All right, you can continue with this, filling it the way you'd like. Um, you'll also no notice that Vincent van Gogh does some to the side. So if you're doing a side one, instead of a circle, you would start with an oval. And then um, you'd come up, come down. These might be a little bit thinner. Coming all the way around. These you might not see as much. So maybe they kind of get a little bit shorter on this side. And then you hide some more again. Okay, and then you can put another, maybe another curvy rectangle coming out for your stem. Okay, and you can get creative with it. So if you'd like, you can put another, maybe oval hidden inside of them or a circle or another one, up to you. Um, and you can keep going and adding. Um, keep in mind you wanna look at Vincent van Gogh's painting, but you can also look at um, regular pictures of sunflowers for ideas. Once you're done, it's up to you if you wanna leave it just like this, or if you wanna take a yellow crayon to outline over the petals. And what this is going to do is this is gonna help you keep the paint when we start to paint inside of those petals. Okay, now that I've finished outlining all of my petals with a yellow crayon, I'm gonna take my brown crayon and I'm going to outline the inside part of my sunflowers. Now again, you don't have to do this. Um, this is just if you would like to keep the watercolor safely inside of the areas that you're painting. Okay, maybe I even wanna outline the vase here. And same thing with the, um, I'll do the table mark here. And then same thing with the um, stems. Okay, so you can see that I took the green crayon and outlined all my stems and my um, leaves. And that way I'm gonna paint inside and it'll keep it in there. Or you can color in the stems if you'd like, or you cannot use the crayon at all and just use paint. I also took a black crayon and put little dots in here for the black seeds in my sunflower. And it's up to you how much you'd like to do, um, if you'd like to fill it in at all um, or not at all. I also put some inside the ovals here. All right, so now moving on to the paint, you wanna have your water bucket with your paintbrush ready. And you wanna have your watercolor paint and a paper towel. Um, with watercolor paint, you really wanna make sure that you have a paper towel ready and available for you. All right, so let's start with um, the petals. For the petals, it's up to you if you'd like to just paint them in yellow, um, or if you'd like to put a little bit of orange in there or a bit of brown, um, again, your choice. So you can look at either realistic pictures of sunflowers, um, or you can look at Van Gogh's style. So I'm actually gonna look at, um, I'll do one realistic one. So I'm gonna take just a drop, a small amount, and this is why you need the paper towel. You do wanna kind of soak up any extra water there. And I'm gonna put a drop of orange near the brown circle. And just lightly, maybe I come up on the edge, come up on the edge. Then I clean my paintbrush. And while it's still wet, I have to get my yellow. You don't want too much water though. And I'm gonna come down from the tip of the petal and I'm gonna even blend right where they touch. Okay, maybe I'll mix them a little bit more here. Take some water clean paintbrush and water, and then I just blend them together. Okay, um, and you'll do this for each one. Um, I like to start again with the orange near the base here of the petal, just a little bit, maybe come up on the edges. Clean my paintbrush, get some yellow. Go from the tip and down, and blending right where they touch. 
maybe cleaning your paintbrush, taking some water from it, and kind of blending it a little bit more. Okay, and you're gonna go all the way around for each one. Um, the hidden ones, you might wanna put a little bit of orange right hidden in between. It looks almost like a V shape. And then you can get some yellow and blend it in. Okay, now that I finished with my realistic um, petals, I'm going to start making one that looks more like Van Gogh style. So instead of the orange, you're gonna actually use brown this time. Um, and you're gonna do the same thing with the brown now instead of the orange, um, closer to the base here. You don't wanna use too much because brown does turn things dark pretty quickly. Then clean your paintbrush, get some yellow, and just like before, you'll start at the tip and come down. And then you can blend a bit where they touch. Okay, and then you can keep going around, um, adding a drop of brown, really not too much. Okay, come up on the edges a bit. Clean your paintbrush, get some yellow, and blend it up where they touch. And you're gonna go all the way around. Okay, now that I finished all my petals, we're gonna start with the inside of our sunflower. Now, um, I'm gonna take the brown, and what I like to do is I like to start on one side of my circle. Okay, painting it nice and dark. And then I like to take water, a nice wet paintbrush, and I'm gonna slowly drag that brown out. So see how the water kind of moves the paint a bit, but not too much? Um, if you're not using watercolor paper, you might have to reapply the brown, just like I did now and add a little bit more water and drag it out. Now you'll notice that the more water I use, the lighter the color gets. Okay. Um, now, if you'd like, you can also add a drop of black to darken it up. See, I blend and it makes it a little bit darker, but I only like to do it on one side, just a curve, and that makes it look a little bit more 3D. Okay, now that we're done with the inside of our sunflower, we're gonna start to paint the stems if you um, didn't color them in, as well as the leaves. So you can just take green and, and go down on the stems. Same thing with the leaves. If you'd like to be a little bit more creative, um, you can take green and go on you know, the bottom base of your, your leaf, and then take some yellow and lighten it up and it'll make like yellow green, which is kind of cool. Maybe I'll drop in some more green. Take my wet paintbrush and just blend up the colors. Um, and I can do that on all of them if I'd like, or some of them. All right, now that I'm done with the flowers, um, I'm gonna start doing the vase in the background. It's again up to you what you'd like to do, if you wanna make it your own, or if you'd like to make it more like Vincent Van Gogh. Um, what I'll start to do though is actually, um, doesn't matter what color, um, but I'm gonna take black, and just like Van Gogh, I'm gonna sign my name like the artist. So I put Dimitri because that's my last name, but it's up to you what you wanna put. Um, now I'm gonna make mine more like Van Gogh, so I'm actually going to mix um, yellow and brown for the top part of the vase. I'm gonna do for the bottom part of the vase a light brown, meaning just a bit of brown and a lot more water to make it a little bit lighter. For my table, I'm gonna do the same color as I did for the top of my vase. I'm gonna put yellow and some brown. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna make the background a nice light yellow. You wanna make sure to be very careful um, if you did not use the crayon to um, carefully paint in the areas between the stems and the flower to mark off the background. And there you have it.